Kelly Barlow Creations Crafting on a Budget. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by. Stick around a while by clicking that red button for more crafting on a budget, more everything on a budget videos to come. And if you click it when the bell appears, YouTube will notify you when I'm uploading a new video. If you're interested in following me on social media, you can find those links in the description box below, along with my PO box if you're interested in sending me mail and watching me open it up in a video. So what do I have going on for today's video? In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you what I do with Dollar Tree's version of Jenga blocks. These are a tumbling tower wooden block that the Dollar Tree carries. You are not gonna to wanna to miss what I do with these. So let's jump into it and let me show you what I do with these mini Jenga blocks that the Dollar Tree carries. For this project, I picked up 10 of the mini Jenga blocks that the Dollar Tree carries, two in the solid natural wood and eight in the multicolor. I'll also be using two of their ink pads in the colors of blue and black, some of this tacky glue, I'll also be using these wood stars that you can get from Michaels for $3 for this bag. 130 come in this bag. And a piece of cardboard in the measurements of 16 by 26. I'm going to start this project off with the two packs of solid blocks, the all natural wood blocks, and I'm going to separate them into four piles. This pile of 12 here, a pile of four, and I'm also going to set one aside as well which will leave us with 52 blocks. For this next part of the project, I will be wearing these gloves because I don't wanna mess up my nails. Taking the 12 Jenga blocks that I set aside, I'll be using the blue ink pad to stain these. I'm gonna be staining the front and one side of the Jenga block. And I'm doing this because of the way I will be placing these on the cardboard. Sometimes from the Dollar Tree, these ink pads can be a bit dry. If you take a water bottle and just kind of squirt the ink pad down, it will moisten the ink pad and you will be good to go. Once I've stained my 12 blocks blue, I'm gonna take my black ink pad and kind of darken up this blue a bit. Because I'm looking for a more rustic look, I don't want my blocks to be a stark blue. So I'm gonna use the black to darken up that blue a bit and give it that nice, rustic, old, dirty look. And this here is the look I was going for. You can see the difference in the two blues. One is bright and vibrant and one has just that dirty, rustic look. That's what I'm going for. If you like that bright, vibrant look and you don't want the rustic look, then there is no need to use the black ink pad. Now taking the four blocks that I set aside, I'm gonna stain the front. Then I'm gonna take and stain one of the longer sides. And again, using the black ink pad, I'll be darkening up these blue blocks to give it that nice rustic look. Now taking the single block that I set aside, I'll be staining the front of it one of the long sides and one of the ends, and again, using the black ink pad, darkening up the blue. Now taking the pile of 52 blocks, I'm gonna stain just one side of it, just that front side, because this is all that's gonna show. I know this may seem like a lot of work, but really, this pile of 52 blocks took me maybe 10 minutes to stain, and I only needed the one ink pad from the Dollar Tree. I did have to wet it down several times because it did dry out from being open, but the color was perfect from beginning to end and it did stain all 69 total wood blocks that I needed it to stain. And again, I will be using the black ink pad to darken these blue tiles up as well. Now using this tacky glue, you can pick a bottle of this up from the Dollar Tree and one bottle is all you should need for this project. I'm gonna be using this tacky glue to glue down the blocks to this 26 by 16 inch piece of board. I'm choosing this glue because I want to be able to reposition my blocks if need be to straighten them out and get them just so before it dries quickly. That's why I'm not using an E6000. 
And this is a bit more budget friendly because you can get a bottle of this at the Dollar Tree. I'm placing glue along the 16 inch side and I'm just gonna place a little bit at a time because we're gonna start off by taking the one piece that we stained on all three sides. That's gonna be the first piece and I'm gonna place that here at the top corner. Now taking the blocks that I painted on the top and the end, I'm gonna place 13 additional blue blocks down, making it a total of 14 blue blocks per row. For the remaining 12 blocks that I will be using to finish this row off, I will be using the multicolored blocks and I will be alternating two light and two dark for the remaining 12 blocks for this row. I'm gonna repeat this pattern over the next four rows with the blocks, only putting enough glue for each row because you don't want the glue to dry and risk that your tiles are not gonna lay flat and be even with each other. I'm done laying the blue blocks. I did a total of five rows that have 14 blue blocks in each row. For the next nine rows, I'll be using the multicolored blocks, starting off with the darker block at the top and alternating every two blocks. I will complete the nine rows this way, giving me the 13 stripes to my flag. Now let's add some stars to this flag. I picked up this pack of stars from Michael's in the kids crafting section for $3 for this 130 piece set. I'll be using a three quarter inch star for this flag. And to glue the stars down, I'll just be using hot glue. To hang this flag up, I will be using this picture hanger that you can find at the Dollar Tree in the tool section. It came in a set. Because this flag is 26 inches wide, I'm gonna find the 13 inch mark and that will be my center. And to adhere this hanger onto the back, I will just be using hot glue and the glue sticks that I am using are the Gorilla Glue Sticks. And there you have it a wooden flag made out of Dollar Tree's mini Jenga blocks. I love the way this turned out. I've been wanting a wooden flag for quite a while now. I've looked on Pinterest, I've looked on Etsy. They go anywhere from $100 on up, and I'm just not gonna pay that. I'll just come up with a way to DIY one myself, and what do you know I did using a Dollar Tree item. You will have to stay tuned to see what flags I make next using these mini Jenga blocks. And like I said, you can find these Jenga blocks on dollartree.com, buying a case for them for $24. I just recently ordered a full case of the all natural wood blocks, not the multicolored ones, because I have two more amazing flags that I will be making. So you'll have to stay tuned for those. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please give this video a thumbs up and let's get this video to 2000 likes. Until next time, everybody, I hope you have a fantastic day. Happy crafting on a budget and bye for now, everybody.